Okay, we'll see. Yay, you can hear me. Okay, I'm so sorry. Today's not my day. It has been a wild ride. And uh, we're just going to ignore that anything uh, happened. And we're going to trudge on. Uh, so cool thing is I figured out how to not save music on the VODs, which means I get to listen to my favorite playlist in the whole world, the 80s playlist. We're going to have so much productivity today. That's my productiveness playlist. Okay, but uh, today we're going to be practicing drawing buildings. I've done a lot of fan art over the weekend, and I think I've got a pretty good grasp on uh, humanoid figures of sorts. So I'm going to try and draw buildings and objects mainly in this one. So it's just a good day to learn for me. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, okay, let's get into it. Let's just kind of decide the layout. Maybe we'll do kind of a rounded building. Got to turn that eraser up. There we go. Get rid of all these lines here. So we'll do kind of a cylinder shaped shop. Maybe here is a flat wall. And maybe we'll have a vague tint here. And we'll have like a little stall. And then here can be a curved window with a counter. We'll have a little attendant in there. Maybe some decorative posts, some other decorations. We'll get to those later. Let's work on the main structures. Kind of have a door here and like a step. And then maybe like a, a step that curves around that people can stand on. Get a step to get up to the shop. Then maybe here we'll just have a vague space, like a door maybe. Maybe a sign there, some foliage, of some kind. And then we'll kind of have a walkway out here, and I think that's where we'll end the drawing at the base. We'll have an attendant here of some kind. Oh no, I have it on repeat. I like this song, but not that much. 
Let me fix that. There we go. Okay, let's see. Um, I think there needs to be like something here. Could be like another entrance to this building or something. Maybe like a leaning sign. And like some kinds of wares. Some kind of wear. Here. I think we'll have like a hooky thing here connecting this fabric. Little post and rope there. Let's get some foliage over there. Let's have like a foliage roof on this one. Let's have like a fabric thing here with a little rope lamp system kind of thing. And we'll just have some de decorative fabric there, I guess. Do a little bit of a lip up there. I think we'll do like another foliage kind of rooftop. And then maybe we'll have some foliage here coming up and joining. Okay, let's recenter this. Okay, and then let's work out the details on another layer. I'm going to switch to my more stable brush. But I think I don't want this one to be completely flat after all. Let's kind of keep a symmetry with the tint over there. And first of all, let me do this. Let's get a baseline for the ground quote level. Let's bring that down. So this is like a secondary platform. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that because it's easy. And then we've got like a second level. 
here. Okay, and then the third one could be out there, but I don't think we need to indicate that just yet. I'm going to turn these down a little bit. These are just guides for the drawing. I think I'm just going to do a real wiggly kind of outline. I need to try to kind of keep it in perspective. Let me go back to my guide area. See, our center is like right here. I'm going to switch my brushes. It's like right here. So our perspective is going to kind of be like this. Sort of. So we'll keep that in mind. Oh, hey, Cryptic. <laughs> you got an emo. <laughs> and it's the best one ever. Welcome in. Let me give you a proper shout out. Congratulations on reaching affiliate. That's great. That's big news. I'm so happy for you. You definitely deserve it. Do a new one. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what game this is. Wow, DRG. I have no idea what that is. I don't play first persons because I get sick, but uh, it looked amazing. <laughs> there was a lot of explosions. There was a lot happening there. I would have been so dead. You're way more talented than I am. I'm a, I'm a filthy casual. And that's a really old clip from before my model was made. Ah. Probably why we didn't see you. Didn't see you, didn't hear you. Congratulations. Are you excited? Because a lot of us are super excited for you. I also didn't use a microphone at that time. Yeah, silent streaming. Um... Where was I going with that? Silent streaming, I think, <laughs> has um, a niche following, so to say. There, there are people who do like silent streamers. There's an audience, but I prefer to hear you because you're funny. I'm excited. It just has not set in yet. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. You'll have to let me know how... Uh, affiliate feels. Are you going to do like a, something special for it? Like a celebration event or something that I can shout out and support you on? Or are you just going to uh, coast into affiliate one normal day at a time? Either way, let me know. Because I'm going to be there. I'm on the wrong brush.
Let's get these lines in. Get our arch, and we're definitely going to have to fix that shape because I think we're showing a little too much of the top there. This is kind of a top down view, almost as if we're a giant and we're looking down on a tiny market. Mm, I'm going to try and plan something big, but I don't know exactly what yet. Okay, that's fine. I'm in your Discord. I'll figure it out eventually. And when I do, Better believe I'm going to be there. Somehow, some way, I'm going to make it. Let's move that in a little. Hmm. I forgot to turn the music back on. Save me, Toto. Save me from my thoughts. Do you enjoy 80s music, Cryptic? It is my kryptonite. Not this song in particular. Weezer ruined this for me. I used to love this song. And then Weezer went and played it into the ground on every radio station. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make this a slanted roof. I'll probably hype it up on Twitter beforehand. Yay. I'm looking forward to it. You let me know if you need any help. I'll be there. To assist where I can. I'm not too handy at 3D modeling or anything, but uh, I can give you support in other areas. Let's bring this down. Bring that over there. Yeah, I think I like the slider roof design better than that square one we originally had. Let's get like the tint kind of, it'll kind of sag. So we'll give it kind of a curve. I'm going to erase away those hooks. We'll leave that one up there. Give it kind of a sag i'm gonna fix it though because we don't want it that dramatic we don't want it to like cover the market stall too much and then we can have it like all in the back we'll make it like a pattern and then you'll be able to see the pattern of the cloth on the other side uh kind of let you know that it's back there too it kind of the dome shape here. Yeah, that's a good enough shape. Let's put in our little peg here. Our little rope lines. So I know what's going on. And then let's continue this line. And then over here too, we'll I think I'm going to need to change this corner. I forgot I'm on a different layer. Let me merge those. Hmm, yeah, that's not looking right. Maybe we'll just do it. Ugh, get out of here. Because it would be like this, actually. But I don't want to go off the page. Let's see here. I'm going to switch to freehand. Distort. Not the corner. Just the ground. Mm. 
We'll see how it looks later. Let's get a roof ledge. Right there. Since we've got some very round shapes, let's keep it very round shaped in the uh the various entrances and viewpoints. And since we've established that maybe there's these, like over here, there's these overlay things before the door. Let's get in like a ledge here. Kind of try to copy the shape. Leave it a little fatter at the top, a little skinnier down there. Yeah, it looks good. Do I want human doors? I haven't really thought about what kind of species this is going to be inhabited by. We'll leave it for another another time. Let's get the platforms and stuff up here. Need to edit that to match the shape a little better. Hmm. I think this one needs to be flat. Let's see. I'm trying to see if that would convey what I'm needing. No, that's not quite right. It needs to be here. So this is going to be the ledge coming out. Maybe let's bring it out past the store. Bring this around. Let's um first get this ledge. I think about theirs, right? Yeah. And then let's bring these down. Probably about there. And about there, and then we'll have another arch. And let's edit that shape. Okay, and then let's get rid of these. Okay, yeah, we, we've got a shape working now. And then from this corner to this corner. We need an arch. Out of this shape. Yeah, like so. Let me get in here and just put that together again. And then we'll kind of do since I'm going to copy this one, let me come over here. Well, no, that won't work. They're in different perspectives. Okay, so we're going to get a stair here. 
So let's get the straight lines down. And this one's probably going to be a little higher. About there. And then we'll make it kind of rounded steps. I want it a little more rounded than that. So let's uh, edit this arch out. And then let's have like a straightish line connecting these two. And then we'll get this curve going. That needs to come down just a bit. Okay, then we can erase away this extra stuff. Let me turn my eraser down so I'm not just erasing too much. Okay, and then we'll... I need to fix that, the angle of this arch. It's not right. Let's just get in here and redo this. Could be more like that. Where it's longer on this side, arches, and gets shorter on that side. Like that. Okay, and then. There's going to be one kind of here, too. So we'll just do the same thing. We'll make this one a little larger because it's like the pedestrian stair. So it, it'll be where the customers come up and down. So we probably need it to be wider so more people can fit on it. Of this, so it wouldn't be that quite that deep. Yeah, I think that's about right. Let's get I need to take that line out just a little bit. Okay, get a new arch there. And then one around here. I need to fix this step over here too, because I didn't curve the straight edge on the top there. And it would be curved if the platform is curved. Let's erase that back. Fix this. I need an arc. Thank you. I'm going to have to redo this arc. It's a wild one. Maybe I start from there. I'm just trying to fix this over here. Okay, let's erase this. Now that we've got something new to work with. I did that one backwards. It's supposed to be like this. Still doesn't look quite right, and I think I know why. Let me 
use the tools given to me. Let's try to do a warp perspective. And then I'll come back and fix these lines. Let's erase this out. I actually think I made it 10 times worse. Let's go back. Okay, maybe there's something wrong with this base here. Okay, so this one's just the shape of the step. It needs to be wider over there. And this one is the top of the cylinder. I gotta redo that. I think that's good enough. If I fuss over it too long, I won't get anything else done. So let's go ahead and fix some things. Since there's going to be like a plant here, let's have it like this one be. Let's get like a pot back there. So let's get a cylinder. Or an oval. An ellipse. We're not really going to see the top of it, but the reason I'm doing this is so I can get an outside shape for the pot. I think we'll make it pretty big. Probably right about there. Now it's still further back, so let's have it end sooner. Ooh, do we want it? Okay. So this is the general pot shape. Let's mess with it now. I think we'll do the pot base about there. Yeah. We'll do like a rounded shape. Get the uh, back rim up here. And back down. Okay. And then let's kind of make it part of. this structure. So we'll kind of erase away this line a little. But I think we'll keep that other line there so we have an indicator of where it changes. I think I merge these down now. I need to fix this corner. That's better.
Let's see. I was going to do a little bit of a lip here in a different color or texture. For the top of the building. The foliage is going to cover the back lip, so we're not going to worry with it. Let's get the door. I was going to have another step up, so the door is going to be a little higher. Since our floor seems kind of flat on these, we just need to get Let's do the straight part first. Let's see, they've got the lip on them, so that's that's the trouble I'm having wrapping my little decentralized brain around. Amanda or Amanda. She's got no idea what's about to happen to her. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to do the general shape. There's going to be a lip here that comes and disappears, but then you see it over here with the, the doorway there. And I think these ones will just like scoop off and it'll be like part of the structure. Okay, right, so that's. The general one. I'm going to copy paste this. Clear it from this image. And I'll use this as a guide. To do what I actually want to do. We'll put it there. I think I need to make it a little bigger. So it's kind of the same size as that one over there. Okay, I think I need to make the one over there smaller, actually. Make this not like a full second story building. It'll be like a loft building. We won't go too low with that door. But let's get back here. Get over here. I think I need to shrink it some more. Yeah. Because if that one's closer, it's going to be a little bigger. There we go. And that'll give us more room to decorate it anyway. I think in order to make sure these are like connected, we're going to fix the base here. Like that. And if everything is going to kind of be like connected, 
I think we'll just do like a like a rounded slope here with a little line there but we'll not have it as dramatic Let's work on this door now. I don't want it to be perfectly oval though. This is not a perfectly oval shape. Okay, and then get a nice line there where the entrance actually is. Okay, and then the back part here. Yeah, I'm on the right one, right? Yeah, the back part here. We'll just have some indication that it's a little separate from the building. All right, let's bring that down. I think I need to fix a perspective on that door. Let me get a secondary perspective. Another vanishing point. Probably. Let's go ahead and change this to probably right here. I accidentally went off the page with that. I didn't want. Want to do the line. Okay, then let's get a line specifically along the vanishing point there. Kind of like there, I believe. Did it again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that needs to be fixed. Let's come down here. Oh, that's rather dramatic. I'm going to have to change this. To be higher. I think because of that, we're also going to see this shift. This is actually going to show less of that side. So more like this. Oh yeah, that looks heck of a lot better. I'm going to bring this back because so I'm going to use it to help me with the staircase. I'll lower it though. 
Nope. I meant I meant to keep it that way. Thank you. Let's give it a stoop. Will be ellipses. Need to bring it down. Down and out. This needs to come up a little. And then we'll just fix this. Let me zoom out real quick. Yeah, I need to. Change this. It needs to be way thinner. Yeah, it would be more like that. I gotta fix my straight line. Ellipse created. I don't want an ellipse. I want a line. Okay, erase out right there. Okay, yeah, let's get a straight line here. Curve in. And then we'll have a secondary um, step. I'm trying to think which perspective I need to follow for this. Okay. So this one's going to be thinner down here, but we are going to have it come around to the other side. Okay, let me raise this back. Bring this down again. And we'll have it come around. Maybe we can make that one to the, the end there. It'll be like at the edge. I need to get rid of that. This one's going to be straight line, please. Like here. And then it'll follow this curve. Turns out I didn't need that line there after all. Okay, something like that. Maybe I need like a third step. Hereabouts. Okay, let's do that. It connects to this wall here.
I'm going to have to redo that one. Let me do my straight line down first. Yeah, that's that's my outer line. I need to do my inner line first. Yeah, that's good. Let's do the. I'm not going to go that far, so. Let's actually stop it like right here. Curve this way. Edit the shape a little. Go to erase this stuff back. Okay. This is going to come out a little. And down. I need to make sure those are straight. Okay, and then this is curve. Yeah, sure, quadrilateral. It is one square line. I need to connect these a little better. So let's bring this around. And we'll make it like that. Okay, let's move on. Look somewhere else. I'm going to get rid of that perspective right now. Let's see. Uh, let's do the window here. Let's bring it lower than the door so the customers can reach it. Nope, I wanted to edit that, please. It needs to be longer here on this side, short on this side. This needs to be straight. We're going to make it a nice big window because there's probably going to be a wares display. So let's get that. Going to enter the shape to be a little more dramatic. Let me turn off this uh, set of lines here and do some editing work. That doesn't need to be as dramatic. I'm going to do it one more time. Yeah, that's nice. Let me come over here and erase this. Let's see.
I think that's good. Let's bring back the sketch. And our perspective lines. Let's get the vendor down here, his little platform. Let's kind of line up the base here with this. Like here. Can I may get rid of this. I think I want to do a cart. Let's get a wheel. And then I'll go decorate it later, but we'll keep it there for now. And I think we need to lower its size. It's a little bit big of a wheel. And then the wedge. Okay. Um let me come down and do this kind of a rough sketch. So we'll do the tabletop like up here. And like a handle here. We'll do a second wheel with system over here. And let's do fabric actually. Like fabric coming off the table. Let's erase this away now. And we can grab the wheels. I think on this one, you only need the widgets on one wheel to get the job done. We're going to wind up erasing that most of that here in a second. Get the top of the table. And this would probably come out a little bit further. And we'll do like a handle. Probably gonna have to do a little scoot here. Oops. All this. Move it over. It's got to be long enough that they can tool it. We'll put it there. Okay. 
And since we're kind of looking down on things, we need to get a little bit of this top into view. I need to make sure that I'm following the perspective correctly. Okay, let's get the second handle in there. I don't feel like redrawing it. So we're going to do the lazy man's way. Voila. Okay, and then we'll get the claw. Okay, so this part wouldn't be visible. We need to copy this shape and bring it over. So we're going to see a little bit of this back wheel. Let's erase away the not needed stuff. Okay, I was going to get some decorative features up here. There's going to be like a hook up here. That the cloth is tied to. We get some dangly rope bits there. And then we'll get the the attachment to the building. Or maybe I should have it hooked to like a tree or something up here in the foliage section. Hmm. I guess it depends on what kind of story I want the environment to tell. Are these people consistently here or just here sometimes? Because if they're consistently here, the hook makes sense. But if they're a traveling merchant, the tree would make more sense. We'll leave it as it is for now. and. Once I get the foliage in, if I feel inclined to change my opinion, I will do so. Let's see. I probably need to focus more on the central dome or the second potted plant element. But I can't get things figured out. Okay. Um, I can get rid of this now.
I think I'll do this area first. Let's do a secondary plant container attached to the building. And then we'll have it come up maybe about here. This one will just be cylinder shaped and use the edge as its straight line. And then this one can be straight. Okay, and we'll have a plant coming out of it. We need to think about a redesign for this building since I've kind of wedged it down. And the original design was square. Let's see. So we'll say maybe we'll make this one like a bushy leafy foliage. We'll make this one like a tr tree like foliage, I guess, with like some leafy bushes down below. We'll make it like a, a shaped tree, like a bonsai. Like they're probably grooming this thing 24 7. The kind of tree that if you look at the wrong way, it's going to shrivel up and die. And then let's see. I can have a square sign here, partially covered by the plant. We'll do that. Let's see, over here we'll have like a wild tree. It's been there. A year or two, you know. However many years a tree needs to get big and floofy. What a glorious tree shape. Okay. Um, and then this is cloth, so we want to see behind it. And then here, I do want a dangly, bushy, wisteria y kind of vine plant that continues down all the way. Along the edge there. And then maybe out into the walkways a little bit. This plant's taken over the world. Probably need to figure out a way that doesn't have me peeping down off the screen every time I look down. Let's try to fix that. Okay, let's try this. Let's we'll see if this will work. Okay. Um, let's have a leafy bush here. Let's have like a spiky plant.
And then like a fluffy little little tree up here. Maybe some fluffy shrub in the back of some kind. Continuation of fluffy shrub. All the way back here. Second appendage, because again, this plant's taken over the world. So it's going to need a second arm or two. Let's see. I am going to be streaming all two hours to make up for the time we missed today. And since I was out last week, I just feel like it's necessary. Maybe we'll do a little peeking creeper over there. And then like a short leafy bush. Secondary shrubs or something, kind of fill it out more. Okay, do I want this to be planty still? Or do I want to make it like an actual roof, I guess? That's boring. That's boring. I don't like that thought. I don't like that boring thought. Okay, here's what we'll do. Secondary lip, kind of. We'll have our creeper coming down over here, all the way down here and out this way. Just a real mossy girl. I forgot I'm on a sketch layer. Okay. Um so we'll have her like come down there. And then let's have like a willowy hangy plant. Not trying to take over the world, but you know, just chilling. Chilling and weeping. Let's have another like kind of little spiky guy. Then let's do a leafy, leafy person over here. And then I'll do like a little shrubby, mossy plant over here. Nothing too big. Okay, I think that's going to be our foliage set up. And then I'll get some like bricking pattern or something over here to fill this space. Let's see, that one's down at 19%. This has already been an hour and a half stream and I'm still on line work. Goodness, I'm definitely going to have to finish this one off, off stream. Upload it elsewhere. Just get a nice... Do we want a rectangle? Nah. Yeah. We'll get a straight line. 
and then a curve. We'll do like a semicircle sign. Okay, and then I need to kind of center that a little better. Kind of there. There we go. And then we'll have some writing of some sort. Nothing that makes sense, I'm sure. Just some fancy writing over there. Maybe we should do something here. I'm not quite sure. Maybe a sign. Just kind of something that's leaning up against the building. And then we'll have like another set of writing here. I like that. I'll center it better when I go into the final product. I still haven't decided what species is in here, but let's get a door. We'll get standard sci fi door number three. I like that. I'll do it like that. Let's go ahead and get the secondary lip in here. Okay, I think I've got all the main architectural stuff down. There's some more details I need to get in on this cylinder, though. I need to do some circle work up here.
Okay, we need to, this is not going to be a perfect circle. Could it be more like that? We'll just get some building nubs. Yeah, we'll copy paste this. Let's do a little flip. Put one on the other side. I think I will have them angling down, actually. I don't, I won't edit that. But I need to make sure it's within the shape of the, the cylinder. Yeah, that one, that one's a little high. That's the wrong perspective. I just need to get rid of this. Do it all by hand, unfortunately. Okay, uh, I was on the eraser. So we'll get kind of a circle, edit it, put it in the right line. I need to get a guideline real quick. For the center of the cylinder. So like right there. I need to go back to my brush. Those lines are going to be a little shorter. Okay, that one's like perfectly dead center, so we don't need to edit it into an oval, but I do need to change its position a little. Okay, let's go ahead, duplicate these, flip. I don't know what's on this layer. If nothing, I'm getting rid of it. I do that a lot, where I make a new layer and then I've forgotten that I've made a new layer. What is up with this song? Get out of here. Bicycle! I don't think I want to make that perfectly in line with each other. I think I'm going to bring this part out a little just to give it some more interest. I'll have that out there a little. Let's get the countertop.
We'll have the counter like continue like behind. We'll have this be a wall. I need to edit this a little. It's not quite right. And I see why. I made these perfect arches and I didn't follow the perspective of the curve. Let's. It's got to be shorter over here. And longer over here. And also. It's got to be a little lower. I made it too high. Okay. This curve's a little extreme. It'd be more like that, I think. Okay, and then we'll have like some wires around there or something. Maybe some dangling up here. Let's see. I had dangling claw. So there needs to be a nub here. It will be an oval, but not that dramatic an oval. With little tiny indication that it's hanging out. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. Let's do a hook, I guess. And we'll make, we'll keep that one up there a hook. Okay, let's see. Let's have it from the same hook then. From this hook to this hook. I think I will get it like over here. It'll really help this stand out. Okay. And then we'll get some more ropey shapes in there with some little dangly ropes. Okay, and then let's mess with this shape a little bit. There's going to be kind of a rope here. And then we'll make a secondary rope here. Okay. We're going to erase these back. Okay. That way it's like they kind of cover the window sometimes.
But other times they just have it pinned up. Okay, and then I had a second dairy cloth. Let's do that. We'll say the hook is... I should probably decide where the hook goes before I decide where the cloth goes. Since they're connected. Let's kind of put it in the same line up here. There with the egg. Okay. We'll get it behind there again. Then we'll get this one. Well, it has some daily ropes down there. Okay. I think I can start on the foliage. I'm going to start on a separate layer. Okay, and I'm going to turn off this one and just focus on the shapes I did in the secondary foliage pass. Okay, let's have this leaf kind of pressed up against the corner. I'll have it like a lengthy stem leafy plant. Let's have one come out and kind of lay over the edge here. It's pretty low. I'll wait. What kind of shape do I want these leaves to have? We'll do kind of spear shaped. And then these ones can be like pressed up against this other wall. We'll get like a little one back there. Yeah, I think that one's good. I think I'll change the shape of this actually. Just a little. And then let me come up here. 
get our weepy little willow shape. Then we'll get our little spiky buddy up here. This can be like the broad part of one of them. And we'll get some minor ones from the other side peeking out. And then let's get this leaf up here. Let's make the nice big round leaves in this one. Fun fact, the part of Bohemian Rhapsody where it's like Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the Fandango? What it means is Scaramouche was a type of clown and the Fandango was a type of dance. So literally this guy threatening to kill this kid is saying, dance for me, clown. So that's what that part of the song is. I think that's good. Let's get our um, vaguely mossy lumpiness over here. Maybe we'll get a little hangover there. I think we'll continue that up here. Like that's what connects these two. Is this vague mossy lumpness. Okay, I'm going to come over here, work on this vaguely tree shaped object that I have. Let me decide what kind of tree I think. Let's make this like a willowy tree instead of whatever it is right now.
I hope I can make that make sense when I go to do the the actual art for this. I am not a foliage expert yet. This is the tallish spiky plant. need to try to bolster the base here. Kind of like that. I did that wrong. Okay. Needs to come down a little more and then come out. And then come back down again. Okay, let's kind of have it follow the curve of this, but it's like enveloping it, so. I'm going to redo those.
the kind of shape. We'll give this one long, narrow, feathery, like leaves. I don't know what kind of shape I was trying to make with that. Oh, this is a real, real bad angle there. Let's get that care of. Yeah, five minutes left. Okay. I just make a little roundish leafy dude up here. A little bit of hangover there. And then we need the vague shrub shape. Okay, there's one more plan I got to get in. That's over here. This is supposed to be the real pedigroomed tree. I don't know why I said pedigroomed. That's not a word. Well kept tree. Those came out leafy looking. That just looks like a big leaf plant. I'll fix it later. Let me turn off my foliage uh, under layer and see how I did. Okay, not too bad. I need... 
could come in here and erase away some things before we merge down. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mic. Okay, I can probably get rid of that. I'll go ahead and get rid of all my extra layers that I don't really need anymore. I forgot to erase some before I merged. Okay. These don't have to be perfect because I'm not doing line art. I'm just getting a vague idea. I'm going to go ahead with some overtime real quick and just kind of sketch in what I think I'll do. We'll have wares of some kind over here, as previously stated. A merchant of some form, another merchant of some form, some wares, maybe some hanging wares. And let's try to figure out what to do with the rest of the space. Boy, I just didn't do a good job of racing at all. That's okay. Maybe we'll put like a customer or two around maybe something on the doorstep a critter maybe another shopkeep in this area that's like doing a chore of some kind Maybe another leaning signboard for this guy. Maybe some seating around the mossy takeover. That kind of matches the rest of the venue. Maybe it some potted plants here. And then maybe some pathing. And we'll have grass like in between. Yeah, we'll do something like that. All right, so that's all the time we got for today. So let me pause that. Get over here. I have no idea where I'm at. Give me a second. There I am. Hello. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I think I'll finish this piece off stream and post it on all the places, the discords, the twitters, the instagrams, all the goodness. Just to try to get in some building practice and some environment practice uh, over these next couple weeks. Uh, I won't be doing music streaming for a little bit because there's stuff I want to learn and do that I cannot do on stream because my computer chugs so hard. It's just that equipped to, to handle the pressure. 
So uh, that'll be it for today. So thank you friends for stopping by. And until next time, have fun space friends. <laughs>